What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. I've had the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra for a few days now and it's going to be my initial review of the product and we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to tell you what we like, what we don't like and everything in between. So without further ado, let's get into it. So this is the box that it comes in. You really don't get anything in the box. You get your tablet, which already is in here or gone, I should say. You get your S Pen, which we'll use in a moment. You get a SIM card ejector tool and you get a white USB-C to USB-C cable. A charging brick does not come in the box. As a 14.6 inch display, this is the mega mega one. So it has 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage. And uh, it weighs 1.6 pounds. So you get the, the cutout right there at the top. You get your S Pen, that's where that goes. Uh, we probably shouldn't have to worry about it too much for the most part. There you go. A little better, so it's not going to fall off. Cameras, camera on the front, all that stuff. So let's check this out. So first of all, the display is humongous. Like I said, 14.6 inches. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan. If you've seen my videos, I'm not a big fan of the keyboard case, which did come free with mine, and I'll show it off in a bit. Uh, and the real, the real, the real reason I don't like it is that uh, it just doesn't hold up very well on soft surfaces. Uh, it's not super convenient. It's floppy. That would probably be the best way to describe it. But yeah, I absolutely love this huge display and I can't stand it at the same time. And you know, obviously just can't standing it is I just want to find a case or a keyboard case that I really like that stays up sturdy, that stays up to eight, everything. There's just, that's convenient. With that said though, it's a beautiful display, like I said. It's a 14.6 inches, 120 hertz, 2K plus resolution. It's absolutely beautiful, guys. Really, really pretty stuff. All right, got our S Pen. So let's bring up a note here. I'll create a note for you guys so you can see how fantastic it is to write notes on here. And I'm not a huge S Pen user, I will admit. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say I am. But here we go. Let's uh, write something beautiful. Let's write my name. Now, there's going to be, you can use Samsung Notes or any other app in this thing uh, to take notes with if you can find a good note app. And this writes beautifully. You know, no problems with being able to write notes or, or clip notes or all the other things they have going on here from creating grabbing screenshots and screenwriting and translating and magnifying and taking a glance at something and coloring. I'll pull up coloring, start coloring. Take my red and you can change it up. So if you're an artiste or you're a person that wants to take notes with something, you're gonna love the S Pen. And you know, with the keyboard case or without it, it'll stay pretty sturdy. Uh, for use in the back there. Performance on this thing is magnificent. So it has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. The one I have has 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage and everything runs really, really smooth, really fast. Apps open up really quickly. We'll open up Twitter right here. Here's Twitter on here and I can use it. It's gonna be a little bit hard to see, but you can use it in this orientation too. I can't even show you the whole display because of how freaking large this is. And that's the one of the, the main things like it. This is so big that holding it in your hand is going to be pretty uncomfortable. So that's why the keyboard case comes in handy if you're on a, a heavy duty uh, surface like a table or something. Or if you're going to, again, you're going to want to want, you're going to want some kind of case. Michael Tobin, great YouTuber. Subscribe to his channel if you're not already. A buddy of mine, I've known him since I started YouTube. Look at it. He took this beautiful shot and this is compressed right on uh, Twitter too. And it still looks freaking amazing. Oh, I have this backwards. Let me go. There we go. Better. So, you know, you can really enjoy yourself with what you're doing on here. Performance, like I said, is, is, is great. We'll open up a good old Android Police's website. There we go. Android Police. Let's bring it up. Here's your site. Look at that full screen websites going on here. Read about the Pixel 6, how its monthly update has broken something else because of course it has but you got your ads and things on the side there. And then I'll bring up a game. Not a big gamer, but I play like light gaming. 
I always play Tom Hero, so I'll show you that on here. I got the volume turned off, but I just want to show you. And I don't even have it. This is like holding it horizontally versus vertically. And I'll show you it vertically in a second, like how much uh, of this actually just goes crazy with how big the display is if you're playing something that takes up the full display. And we can go into the settings. Actually, why don't we go into settings real quick? This might start the game over. We'll go into advanced features, labs, auto rotate apps. There we go, Tom Hero, full screen. There you go, now it's full screen, taking over full advantage of this whole display. And you can play these, you can play games obviously vertically or horizontally. And these games are so, especially these big bright games, they look so pretty on this display. And the performance, this isn't like a game that's gonna knock anybody's socks off, but it looks great on here, regardless with the great performance and the beautiful big display. Also, if you're into like word games, this is Wordscapes. I love this game. I'll go to, I'll, this game will make me take a freaking nap. But if you turn it that way, cause that's the way it's really supposed to be held. You know, the, it takes up the whole display, but when you hold it, uh, horizontally, it gets a little bit small, but you can still see it. So like gaming on this, whatever you're playing, you know, it, it's just so immersive and beautiful. So performance, absolute knockout, no issues at all with this. Again, crazy, crazy good. If you're curious what Instagram looks like, here it is in all its glory. Click on a photo, zoom in. It looks absolutely crazy on here. This huge, huge display. Um, this one doesn't auto rotate. I don't have that setting on. I don't even know if it does. It probably works on this one too, but crazy, crazy performance. Now you have this huge display. You probably want to use it for more than just maybe one app at a time. And you can obviously do that. So let's bring up an app here. Why don't we bring up a uh, Google play store for instance, actually go back, bring up Google play store, open in split screen view, and then we will open up and we've got YouTube open. We're looking for apps on here. I can pull in uh, another app if need be so I can get more stuff done. So maybe we, here we go. We'll do, we'll do three right here. Here we go. We got Instagram, Twitter, uh, Twitter, YouTube, and my calculator going on here. We can flip these around. There we go. And I'm looking at that. I'm watching a video. I'm doing my calculations. It's freaking amazing what you can do on here. You can make these bigger and smaller if you want. That way you can still see what's going on on Twitter, but maybe you want your video to be bigger. So multitasking an absolute dream on this thing. Freaking amazing, guys. If you're a multitasker on this huge display, you're gonna love it. All right, let's get ready for some speaker sounds. Four speakers. known as Steve McFly, also known as On Leaks, and he fleshed out October of 2022. So still a ways to go, but we're already seeing what it's going to look like, which is pretty impressive. A lot of you folks asked me about East support, especially on the Samsung Galaxy side. Well, we do have a little bit of information on that, especially if you are interested in eSIM, and it's coming from uh, Sam Mobile, who's saying there's a little audio sample. And then also what this shows off is the display. Of you know, you're just watching a video. I haven't shown you a video like that, on here. Yeah, Imagine SIM watching it's electronic SIM videos SIM or into the phone. you know, Netflix, whatever you're doing, Net YouTube, Hulu, everything looks freaking amazing on this huge display and sounds amazing as well. Obviously, this thing has cameras, and I did take um, some photos and videos with this thing, and the camera's actually not too bad. Like, just zooming in and like just looking at stuff pretty close up, you can see. This is not a real wood table, but it looks like you can see the, the fibers cut out and stuff. It looks amazing. So I'll show you some photos and videos that I took with this, the, well, with these cameras on the front and the back. All right, this is the front camera on the Tab S8 Ultra, I'm gonna walk around a little bit, see how it performs admirably or not admirably. Did I say that word right? 
as I hold this. This would be, this makes an absolute great vlogging camera. It's, it's wicked big and it's he heavy when you hold it in your hand. So it's going to make for an excellent vlogging camera. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. This would be the worst vlogging camera in the world, but I'm still curious to see how it looks when you do some video on here on the front camera. And again, I have this on, I didn't even say it, but this is 4K30. Here we go with the main camera, 4K30. I'm going to look into that hole of that, that, uh, oh, you can't even do it. Oh, no, you can. I'm going to zoom in eight times. Oh, that gets noisy. Let me look at the light eight times. That's not too bad. Let me pull this back because you probably don't want to look at that. I mean, when I look at it through here, it doesn't look all that bad. My house is an absolute disaster, but what do you guys think? Do you think this looks good, bad, ugly? Let me know. Checking out downstairs. I don't know, not too bad actually, right? And then here's me holding it as if I'm a vlogger with this. Um, one thing about the cameras, and I probably will mention it in this video, is that when you do use this, one of the issues with it is that, especially on the front camera, this is the back camera, but on the front camera, it really is only going to work when you hold it the long way, uh, the short, the horizontally, no, vertic her, yeah, horizontally, because uh, vertically, it's like the camera ends up being on the right-hand side. It's a little awkward. So if you do video conferencing as well, this is on Google Duo, if you hit this button right here, you have auto framing and you also have uh, mic mode. So if you turn on auto framing, it's going to follow you around on the, the uh, camera as you move around. And then mic mode, uh, you can choose standard voice focus or all sound. I chose voice focus to get a better sound of my voice. And just to show you, hopefully you can see it. It'll kind of follow you around as you do it. So kind of cool. So getting the keyboard case, I'll take a look at that next. It snaps on the back there and then you can snap the back part on and it keeps it pretty well protected for the most part. Everything kind of just like snaps on. But like I said in my video where I said I don't really like it, you always have to, in order to stand this up, you always have to put this back flap up. That's a pain in the butt for me. I want this to be a true laptop replacement and it doesn't act like one because of that fact. All right, so the functionality of the keyboard. So you can use gestures on it. So if you use three fingers to swipe up, it brings up your apps you have open. If you use the three fingers to swipe down, it brings you back home and you can go home from any app as well by doing that as well or bringing up your recent apps. You can use two fingers to cycle through your home screens without having to touch anything. Typing with the keyboard is pretty good as well. It's a chiclet style keyboard and you know it works absolutely fine if you are you know, into those type of keyboards. But overall, again, it's the really the thing I don't like about it is the standing part of it. It's just not good on my lap or my stomach or my chest or a bed or a couch. It's really only good on hard surfaces like tables. Beyond that, it's a fantastic tablet. It's a little awkward because of how big it is, but if you can find a case, which I am on the lookout for, that is very handy and lovely and stands up and you know adds all that kind of functionality, I'm all for it. I'd say get the big one. It's got good battery life. It's fun to use. It's just a great tablet. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.